Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Oh, little Boosie, if you guys don't know, he done dropped the diss track. So if you guys remember, I had did the video not too long ago about his daughter cussing him out. She was upset because Boosie took her car back, which was her birthday present. So now he decided to come out with a diss track against the mother and the daughter called Ungrateful. So this diss track went viral and the daughter is speaking out about the situation. She went off, the mother went off, and then Boosie also addressed the situation as well. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. It's a mess, honey. So we're gonna watch this real quick. It's his daughter, Tori. And I did a video, I didn't realize so he was pointing it out in the last video that I did. I had did a video on Tori and the mother years ago. And I think my video went slightly viral um, when she had recorded Boosie, you know, threatening the little girl and talking about, you know, harming her brother. I didn't realize I was the same daughter she had grown up. So we're gonna watch this. Ain't never been sh Ungrateful. I ain't gonna let no celebrity get in my head. Who? Who? I ain't no yes man to nobody. And that's what y'all expect me to do, be a yes man to that. What? Does he my daddy? Well, not even my daddy. Does he my sperm donor? I don't even deserve a title. That's why he called sperm donor mom. Like, what? I don't like all that. Then I gotta hear from about this on live. Talk about, did an interview about me. What about cutting? Instead of bringing up my name, where's my cuts? And I don't even need the money, but it's just the principal though. I know. <laughs> like they said, I'm money hungry. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you want to come get a DNA test? That's how they go. Should've left of the left of the. Hey, then who have? Then you talk about some hood right there. Hood right there. We have a baby for a hood right. Who who not get their dough to? Um, yeah. Who not get a dough to see if that if the if the hood right baby he he is? Like come on, man. Like y'all don't remember back in what 2021 when he was on all those voice records talking about somebody he was going. Basically, as it was, was saying how he was gonna like hit me and all that, put his hands on me and all that. Black my that's what I was like, what about 12, 10, 10, 11? Come on now. I still got the record. What? Bro, put him up. Why, why why is y'all um acting like he's so right face to report somebody that really abuse his own child? Huh? I'm trying to see why this so messy. But y'all swear to God. Y'all swear to God. Like I never, I swear to all my life, I never been materialistic. All my life, I never been I never been materialistic. I don't care. All they don't. Now listen to this. And I always talk about doing something to somebody. Else. I didn't tell nobody to ditch you. What are you talking about? What What did you tell Tori? Cause she crying. Oh look, she pulling it up. Yeah, cause we gotta bring old stuff out. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. Come on, dog, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh yeah! 
I, first of all, I talked to him. I, I'm like, I'm moving. I've been telling him I'm moving to Houston. Been, been, been telling him. So, boom, at the time I had my car, was going to transportation. My mom, I had to drive, I had to drive up here with my mama. And because she had a bad car accident. Like, what's, like, what's that, what's that hard to understand? Like, I was looking in a wheelchair. And then on top of that, and then on top of that, we got into it, like, we got into it, like, at least two to three. Yeah, I told her I black eye. Yep. She was embarrassing the fan. I mean, she was giving her body away <clears throat> at football games in the bathroom, man. I mean, she going to my house having sex in the bathroom with boys. I mean, I probably told her more than that. That's the kind of dad I am. If we gonna tell the truth, let's keep it real. I did it. I'll say it again. You're embarrassing the family. What the? And the mama okay with it. Mama let 19 year old boy stay with a 14 year old. I probably said more than this. <laughs> I probably said more than that. Who let a 19-year-old man stay with a 14-year-old? Who let a 19-year-old man stay with a 14-year-old? Stay in the house. Walking around with his boxes on. Sad. They mad. If everything I said was the truth. I told not one lie, not one. One thing I ain't gonna do is lie. I told not one lie. What I said her mama did, she did. Ask her. Tell her, ask her mama, did she do it? I mean, it's the truth. I mean, I don't think she knew about that. Man, she probably, she mad about her brother, man, you know. He playing spades with Tupac right now. So it's a lot of hate, there's a lot of hate involved. I was trying to get my daughter from that situation, man, you know. How you go from Alpharetta, Georgia, Catholic school, mean private school, making straight A's, to let the 19-year-old live with a 14-year-old. I don't play about my daughter's shit. I don't play about my daughter. You lucky I ain't told her more than that. You giving away yourself in the bathroom at, a, at, at games? At my son's football game? I ain't going for it. Hopefully I instill some fear in her. Like it ain't work. What y'all talking about? Jay Z would never. Jay Z ain't got my baby mama. Beyonce would never. <laughs> All right, let me come back on the screen. These people. That there's a lot to unpack there. First and foremost, let me say this. I thank all of them. They're all, daughter included, extremely disrespectful. Um, I don't like kids who think they're grown. You could tell her mom is her friend and not her mom first. Because I, even at my big age, I could never feel comfortable cussing around my mom like that or being like, um, and that bitch. And, like, there's just, there has to be a certain level of respect parent to child and there's obviously none you know they're they they key key and talk like two homegirls this little girl's a minor she's what 16 years old 
and she's talking like a grown woman you know cussing and carrying on the mama's in the background instigating wanting money and everything else i think this whole situation is trash i think they all have issues the daughter has issues because of the parents the mother has issues and of course boosie has issues another thing that's really bothersome like i and i've said this for a long time it's very funny how a lot of these rap dudes and not even rap dudes a lot of these trash ass guys you know they want to be extra protective of their daughter's cooch and who their daughters choose to share their cooch with, right? But yet and still, when you look at the music, when you look at the seeds that they have planted, so it's okay for you to make music that, you know, that perpetuates that my child should smut herself out and get trains ran on her and give head and, oh, Becky, Becky, I know that's not his song, I'm just using that as an example, all these rappers talk about is sex, fucking and sucking, you know, she's a thot, one night stands, you know, uh, oh, Becky, Becky, you so heavy, all that shit. But then when it comes to their daughters, they need their hymens checked. They better be virgins. They better not be fucking nobody. I can put money on it. When Boosie was 19, he himself was probably fucking all types of underage girls. Let's keep it real. Especially back in the day, that was the fucking norm. When he was young, when he was grown over the age of 18, he was probably fucking with a lot of little young girls. Probably a few of his baby mamas were underage, okay? So, am I saying that his 14, 15-year-old girl needs to be dating a 19-year-old? No, I'm not saying that. But I just find the hypocrisy very, very rich, okay? This is the same man. Like I said, I know Boosie's music, okay? Even before he went viral for making this stupid comment, he said this in his song years ago, that when his son turned eight, he gonna get his son head at his birthday party. I forgot the name of the song. Y'all can write it in the rap. He said that when the son turned eight, he gonna get him some head at his birthday party. Then when the little boy got older, Tootie Raw, you know, he's off the chain out here smoking weed, cussing out grown folks and everything else. He went online and bragged about, you know, uh having a stripper give him give his son and his nephew head and that's how they learned about sex ain't nothing cute about that so it's funny that you're okay with a grown woman molesting because that's what it is it's, it's molestation you're okay with grown women molesting your son and your nephew and giving them head because that's what makes them a man but your daughter wants to sit here and get, you know, have some sex and, you know what I'm saying, give some head. Now it's an issue. Very interesting, the hypocrisy. How about we keep the same energy but for both genders? I get tired of the hypocrisy that people want to act like they, like they daughter's coochie, you know what I'm saying, is, is, is something wrapped in gold. But their sons can be out here spreading it all over the place and it doesn't matter. How about you have that same level of reverence uh, for both children? How about you make it where both children have respect for themselves and they're not out here just smashing willy-nilly? If your daughter's out here being a thot, she learned it from your music. It ain't like you're rapping about, you know what I'm saying, church girls and girls who are handling their business and who are keeping their virginities and have respect for themselves. Like, look at the music that you make. She's a reflection of your music. But it's not funny when it's your child. But it's okay when it's my niece. It's okay when it's the young girls in the chat. It's okay when it's other people's children, but not my daughter. Absolutely, it should be your daughter first and foremost. Because again, if you don't want your children to follow that example, then be a better example. Make better music. Put better things out there. Put up better imagery of women. So I, I just find the hypocrisy just very, very, very rich. You know, she's all types of hoes and freaks and, you know, for having sex, you know, at the football game. Not saying that I condone that. But in the same breath, when your son was getting head as a minor from a stripper, because these are your words, not mine. It's nothing I made up. It's not alleged. You, you told the internet this. You are okay with that. Neither should be okay. I don't want my minor son getting head from a grown stripper. That's insane to me. So I just I just find the whole situation just sad. Um, you know, the, these are the chickens coming home to roost. I feel no ways. 
If your daughter's out here promiscuous and, you know, smutting herself out, that's on her. You're cool with it. You're cool with fucking other people's daughters and smutting other people's kids out. So, you know, it is what it is. The chickens are coming home to roost. Yeah, they all need Jesus at this point. The mama's out here wiling out and then you're talking about her mom getting trains ran on her. You know, like, why did that need to be said? Why did she need to know what her mom was doing with you and your homeboy sexually? It's the whole situation is very disturbing. And what what father puts out a diss track on their child and baby's mom? Like, what is this? Eminem, Slim Shady, the early 2000s? You know, M was trying to kill Kim, but I mean, it's like, damn, you're just putting it all out there. I think that they're all touched. They, they all have issues. I, I can't, I can't co-sign any of this. The daughter's off the chain. She got a smart-ass mouth. The mama's off the chain for co-signing the nonsense. Like, that's her little friend girl. And Boosie's off the chain. They all deserve each other. But she's a kid. So I, I can't give her some grace because she is a kid and she's hurt. But she has no guidance from either parent because her mother is not guiding her in the right direction. Because a real woman would have told her daughter, we're not taking this to social media. We're going to ignore him and have him look stupid because the Internet was already dragging him. He was already getting drug on Twitter for, for releasing a diss track on the daughter and the mom. It wasn't like a lot of people were co-signing this diss track. So they should have just sat there and ate their food and let the internet do their job. But of course, you know, she wants to be her daughter's friend. So here we come, you know, to badmouth him and pull receipts and cuss and go off and go back and forth. They all deserve each other. I I'm over this. I think it's sad. She does not have proper guidance. Yeah, it's just the whole thing is sad. I remember them going back and forth a few years ago on social media, you know. They all need some counseling and healing, but social media is not the place for it. All you're going to find is people fanning the fires, keeping stuff going, and going back and forth. Because that's who she's talking to is her followers who are instigating stuff and starting stuff and going back and forth. At what point as an adult do you just unplug and, and take your kids offline and take a breather? So, yeah, I just, I just find it, the whole thing is just very, very hypocritical. You know, like I said, it's not just these rappers. It's a lot of these bum-ass dudes out here, too, who want to act like, you know, not my daughter, not my daughter. But you have no problem disrespecting other people's daughters. You know, the old saying goes, is the same way you treat women, the same tears that women were crying over you and your behavior are the same tears that you're going to wipe off your daughter's face. So be careful how you treat women. Especially if you have daughters. Just saying. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.